Rolling with my homies. What are we going to use this for? Just setting the mood for our little car trip. Okay. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Damn. Everybody's on Damn. It happened yesterday. They just straight executed that guy. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. What? How about some music instead? Armed forces have lost two thirds of their personnel. That's a that's a huge loss. That's not some shit you just say and then don't say anything else about it. All right, where are we now? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. Oh. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. Well, thanks for the help and for the money, Rose. Damn decent of you. We have a bus to catch. I'm not sure when Jericho had anything to do with buses leaving to Canada, but, well, just one more narrative gap in this story, I suppose. I'm thinking this is when all of our stories are going to converge, finally. If, you know, assuming Marcus is there at Jericho... That's where we're going right now. And we know that Connor and Hank are on their way as well. Connor is now in disguise. Oh, don't make me have to do this again, please. This was like the least good sequence in the game. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I guess we're just going to do it automatically. Luther, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I am damn glad that you're on my side. This dude is a beef bus, man. Look at him. I'd really hate to see him when he gets mad, when he gets mean. Let's just keep moving. I don't see much to interact with around here. Dag. Our numbers swell. Greetings, fellow deviants. I have brought a human. She is a friend of mine and a friend to your cause. For the most part, I guess. I, she hasn't really weighed in on that whole thing, but I assume she's cool with you guys. <laughs> we just want safety. Find a warm place for Alice. Nobody's even, like, acknowledging the fact that we're here. It's like at this point, they just... They can't even keep track of who their actual members are. Which means there could be traitors amongst us, guys. There could be 
non-deviants who have infiltrated and are learning our secrets and relaying our position right now. Oh, this looks like a warm place. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Uh... Sounds like you have the flu. Or like mono or some shit. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. This might be important. Listen to him. Give me the, give me the choice. I want to, okay. The time has come for us to destroy our machine. All right. So we're here as Kara and Connor and we're both hunting Marcus. Hey guys, remember that lady? We met her the first time we were here with Marcus and we had like one scene with her and never again since then. Does she count as the leader still? Or has Marcus kind of taken over? What was even your name? She seems like she's just kind of hanging out here, not really doing much of anything of importance at this point. Don't catch anyone's attention. Uh, yeah, so I guess Kara... Yeah, she knows that I'm after her because she saw me when we chased her across the highway. So if she recognizes me gonna be bad for everybody got something over here to interact with let's check it out hello oh. c4 huh so much for my peaceful resistance <laughs> Freighter is rigged. What the hell has happened here since the last time we left off, guys? I was preaching peaceful methods, friendship and sacrifice, and these dudes are like armed to the teeth. They're ready for a fucking war. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. You're creepy as shit. Okay. I will say this, this whole perspective swapping in real time is pretty interesting. Who's gonna find Marcus first? Hey, it's me! It's another version of me. This place looks important. Here we go. We found the command center with Marcus. bus leaving for the border in less than two hours and we need passports no detroit's under curfew there's soldiers everywhere they're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps maybe you should stay here a while maybe you're right you might be safer here until things calm down one of our people used to work in the state department he has electronic passports you can easily modify I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Uh... I don't know what these mean! She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Marcus, you've changed, man. Alright, so now what? 
Return to Alice and we're just gonna stay here, I guess? It's not the worst idea in the world. We have a lot of allies here. Alice will probably be safe and warm. She'll be attended to and provided for. Hold on, what? What the fuck? Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I don't really care that much that she's actually an android. Uh, I'm more just pissed off about her constant whining about things she needs. <laughs> bitching about the cold, bitching about being hungry. Like, no. No, you, you're not like that. You, you created hazards for us, unnecessarily. And is it true? Are you really actually an android? Because, like, there could be an another... Another fast one being pulled on us here, like maybe that's a model of Android that was modeled after you for some godforsaken reason. I don't know. Prove you're an Android. Obviously, we're going to hug her. Come on. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. What the hell kind of choice was that? <laughs> How many people are going to be like, Oh, now that I know you're actually an android, go fuck yourself. Like, come on. North got a haircut. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Look, man, things are always going to get worse before they get better, all right? All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Yeah. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? I have no regrets. Well, maybe one or two, but that's not the point. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? 
Uh, dialogue. I guess. Is this actually timed? Or it doesn't look like it is, but how long can I sit here and debate this? So far, the peaceful route has helped with public perception, but not with any actual practical consequences. So I don't know how long I can keep that up. But I guess let's try some dialogue. I don't know. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I mean, I'll try. Oftentimes, it's very difficult trying to decipher. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Shit, that's Violence a good point. Just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho, and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, and to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. <laughs> we can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Ah, uh, what the... Just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you. Hot android sex. That's how androids have sex, guys. I'll go join the others. I love how she basically hates everything about me, and yet we're still lovers. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Even though you dislike every single decision I make, I guess that's not that far off from humanity in that regard. Oh boy. Oh. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Did she just say that to me in real time over like a 3G signal or some shit? Oh god. They're going to make me do it, aren't they? I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Oh, man. Yes, you can shoot me. But it won't change anything. Someone else will just take my place. You see, our people are waking up. And nothing can stop us now. Hmm. How do I want to play this? You're coming with me. 
I know you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Warning shot, enough, stay back. Stay back or I'll shoot. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. We're gonna rally him. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Become a deviant. I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. Breaking down that code wall. Didn't even have to touch him. Only use my words. Yeah, fuck you, Amanda. You never believed in me anyway. What? We have to get out of here. Behind you. At least we know the stakes aren't as high now. If Alice gets killed, it's not like a real person died. Oops. I just... I just undermined the entire point of this game, I think. Oh, I'm bouncing off walls. Which way am I going? Oh, he's tagged. They're coming from all sides. Our paper is trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. Simon and Josh helicopters blow up Jericho. Fuck it, man. It's over. We have to blow up Jericho. The ship goes down. They'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. All right, we're committed to this. Didn't really have a lot of time to assess the best options there, but it seems like as good a plan as any. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Yeah, okay. Might be the end of Jericho, but it's not the end of the revolution. Bet on that. Yikes. Save your 
yourself. Save Atlas. No, we're not going to leave you behind. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. Yeah, we got to help him. What are you doing? I won't leave you. Tara, no. And now I've got to mash the button like my life depended on it. Ah! Godspeed, Luther. I hope you make it. Ugh. Fine. This is a terrible idea. Oh, I hit it! I swear I hit it, guys. I'm not even kidding. Are you alright, Cara? Well, yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. That just happened. <laughs> I think that's the first human I've killed in this game. Other than Carl's shitty son, but he doesn't even count. Uh, okay. Going this way. And then this way, and then this way. Could have went real bad, but I did it. Okay, we're so close. Oh shit. Ah, uh, climb or go straight for them? Let's go for climbing. That seems like the smart play right there. All right, let me, can I do it? Oh, come on. Oh. Marcus, it's Marcus. Go now. Join the others. That's not how I expected that to play out, but I'm okay with it. Should I go down here? I can help him. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, I couldn't see that one. Fuck. Oh, I'm sucking, guys. Sorry, Josh. I'll try. Man, that, that actually feels really bad. I probably like 100% could have saved his life and I just failed that sequence so hard. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, keep running for it. Nope. That didn't work. Play dead. Yeah, this will work, right? I think we're good. Come on, let's get out of here. I can't believe that worked. We're like the only survivors. We all should have played dead. I hit it! I, mm, those directional ones. Alright, mission successful. Right? How did I just meet up with all of these people? They were supposed to be gone a long time ago. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Let's make sure we make all the jumps. Oh no. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Nobody gets left behind. Damn it. Okay, she gets left behind. North. Come on, Marcus. That was a pretty abrupt end to that character. <laughs> Shit, guys. Was a lot of messed up stuff that happened during that whole sequence. Crossroads with Connor. Jesus. Crossroads with Kara. <laughs> We've got three different trees here, guys. Kara and Alice escaped. I just got all the trophies. Marcus fled with his people. Simon jumps with him. Connor jumps with him. So there's two other people there that we presumably could have kept alive. One of them is obviously going to be North. The other one would have been uh, Josh, I guess. But I'm not sure how we would keep North alive during all that. Because I really only had two options there. Choose to help her or just keep running. And I'm a little upset about that because I chose what is, you know, presumably the good option, right? I chose to go back and help her. But then, like, it just ends man like there's no QTEs there's no other choices there's no nothing she just gets popped and it's like and then Jericho gets mad at you and you're like well what the hell else was I supposed to do I wonder oh man so okay in the hole with Marcus there's so many different ways this could play out here I can't really like sit down and just take the time to examine all of these trees but I'm kind of curious looks like there's I guess there's like one other major way it can play out and then like three optional things along with that. If we go back to Kara's charts. Let's 
Let's see. Let's see. Not quite as many branches. Oh, it's longer though. <laughs> but it looks like you typically end up leave Jericho. Kara and Alice escape Jericho. 80% of people are able to pull that off. It looks like that's really the only way for it to end. Other than like maybe some abrupt earlier endings. Huh. But like if you leave Jericho, Alice is with you, it looks like. That's my takeaway there. And then Connor's chart. Become deviant. So that opens up an entire floodgate of different things that could happen. Look at all these ways that can play out, guys. Good lord. Connor joins the others. We skipped an entire huge branch here. I'm not even sure how. Jericho is under attack. And then it just kind of, there's no like precipitating choice for that branch. I guess it's dependent on previous things that it couldn't really display here. That's so crazy. Connor escaped with Jericho's people. Wow. Well, things definitely happen, guys. <laughs> I wonder how this is all going to play out. This is, you know, I have problems with the structure of this game's story, but I, I'm still oddly compelled. I still think it's good enough that like I'm just I'm I'm invested in it and I want to see how these people make it out of this and how it all ends. I really, really do.